All right, good morning, boys and girls, and to all our friends at home. Guess what? We're starting a brand new unit. We're going to do fractions today. So we're saying goodbye to area for a while. You'll still see it in our spiral reviews, and we'll come back to it from time to time. But we're starting a new unit on fractions, and it's probably my favorite unit in all of third grade math. So I hope you guys like it as well. All right? So today you're going to be using fraction strips, all right? And you're going to be using a ruler. Now, friends at home, you don't have the ruler and you don't have the fraction strip. So Mrs. Reed is uploading a template and you will have strips that will have marks on them where you have to divide them and we will be labeling them, okay? So we're today, let's read our learning target just so we know what we're going to be doing on the Con 1 class. Three, two, one. We can specify and partition a whole into equal parts, identifying and counting unit fractions using concrete models. Holy cow, that is a lot of information. So, specify just means to name, okay? If you specify, if I specify who this is in the second um, row of sec this row, or the second desk in this row, it will be Owen. So I'm specifying, I'm naming Owen, okay? Partition, partition means to break up into parts, okay? So partition means to break up into parts. And then this is probably the most important two words in there, equal parts. So our parts need to be equal. So we're going to have to attend to precision when we divide our strips up. Okay? We'll be identifying. And then another really easy part of fractions, just like with area. We'll be doing a lot of counting. And you've been counting since preschool, so that will be easy. Unit fractions means just one. Okay, unit means just one. And then concrete models means something like this, like a fraction strip. Concrete means something you can pick up, not just a worksheet. So friends at home, you will not have these, but you will have a template in your um, CSOF uh, thing to do. Okay? So now what I want you to do is take a fraction strip, okay? And I want you to measure it with your ruler. You're going to use the inch side of your ruler. So the inch side of your ruler is the red one. Go ahead and measure how long this is. How long is our strip, Leah? 12 inches long. Very good. Our strip is 12 inches long, you can see. Ms. Zimmer has done it. She's lined her ruler up right along her fraction strip. Now, listen carefully. I want you to make a mark at six inches. So we're going to find six inches on here. It's right there, and you're going to make a mark on your fraction strip. Did you do two before? Or just one? Did you do two and connect them? Did you do that or no? No? Okay, then I'm not going to bother. All right, now what I want you to do is go ahead and draw a line where you made that mark at six inches. Use your ruler. Look at Miss Zimmer. See how she's using her ruler? So it's nice and straight. If you need help, just raise your hand. Draw a line at six inches. Watch what Miss Zimmer is doing. So friends at home, this is what your page is going to look like. So you're going to have just a template drawn of a ruler, and I will have already drawn your marks at six inches. You need to draw the line, okay, and seesaw and connect those. All right, now, after you've done that, go ahead and fold your strip in half. Fold it in half using that line. The, using the line, if you fold it in half using the line. If you're confused, Ms. Zimmer is doing it under the elbow as well. And you know you're folding it in half when the two lines meet, the ends of the strips meet. And you should fold it right on that line, right? It should look like this. Go ahead and open it back up. And your fold should be right on your line. See how Ms. Zimmer is right on her line? We can make sure that we do this. So you want to that it's six inches. Right 
Okay, how many equal parts did we divide our fraction strip into? Let's count them, class. One, two. We have two equal parts, don't we? What do we call each one of those equal parts? Well, we divided our fraction strip into halves, so each part is called one half. So we have two equal parts, and each one is called one half. So let's count them, boys and girls. Point and count, because I told you in our learning target we're going to be doing a count. Nope, we're not going to count one, two. We're going to count one half, point to your strip. One half, two halves. Just like dressing up your numbers, we're counting units. We're counting halves. So you would never just count one, two. You would count one half, two halves. You count them originally to identify your unit, and then you count them using the unit of half. All right, now take that same strip, put your ruler against it again, And I want you to make additional marks at 3 inches and 9 inches. So make additional marks at 3 inches and 9 inches. Once you've made the marks at 3 inches and 9 inches, go ahead and use your ruler to make those lines there. Okay, so the ruler helps it be nice and neat. many equal parts do we have? We know we have two equal parts. Let's count the number of parts, boys and girls. We have one, two, three, four equal parts. So we have four equal parts. They're no longer called halves. When you have four equal parts, they're called, does anyone know? They're called oh, fourths. They're called fourths. What are they called, class? Fourths. fourths. So they are called fourths. Let's count our fourths. Are you ready? Here we go. One four. Wait, I need everybody pointing to your strip because you're counting them. You're pointing and counting one on one correspondence. One more time. One four, two fours, three fours, four fours. Each part is called one fourth. What's each part called, boys and girls? One fourth. Very good. Now, on this first one, let's just go back to this for a second. How do I know that these were halves? How do, how do we know those were halves? What makes them halves? Clea. Very good. They're equal on each side. There's two of them, and they're equal on each side. How many of you have ever had a sandwich, your parents, take your sandwich and split it in halves, right? Yeah. Two parts makes halves. Or they might take your sandwich if you like triangles and split it like that. Two parts, they're equal. They're still called halves. So two equal parts makes halves. When we have four equal parts, we have fourths. Okay? Put that strip on the edge of your desk and take a brand new one. So friends at home, again, you will have this template on Seesaw because you don't have the strips to fold. This is the one that's going to show you the halves. This one, you'll draw the additional lines at three inches and nine inches. You'll have four equal parts. Each part will be called a fourth. So now let's take our next strip. Put your ruler against it and listen carefully. I want you to put lines at 4 inches and 8 inches. So you're going to put lines at 4 inches and 8 inches. And go ahead. Once you've marked them, draw your lines with your ruler. Anybody need help? Anybody else need help drawing their lines? Okay. 
who can. All right, boys and girls, let's count. When we drew our lines at four inches and eight inches, how many equal parts did we end up with? Well, let's count them. One, two, three. We had three equal parts. They're no longer fourths. When we have three equal parts, they are going to be called one third. Everybody say that. They're going to be called one, one third. third. Three equal parts means third. Now, let's go ahead and count our units. Pick your finger up and let's count. One, one third. third. Two thirds, three thirds. Very good. One third, two thirds, three thirds. All right? So three equal parts means thirds. Some of this should hopefully sound a little familiar to you, although you might not have been in school last year when your second grade teachers covered fractions. All right, now you're going to put your ruler against your strip again, and this time you're going to make a mark at two inches six inches and ten inches. So you're going to have to make three new marks, two inches, six inches, and ten inches, and then make the little lines to partition your strip. Doing exactly what our learning target says. Anyone need help? All righty, so Miss Zimmer is doing a bang up job for us up here. If you drew additional lines on that strip at 2, 6, and 10 inches, well, let's count. How many equal parts do we have now? Count that. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six equal parts. If we have six equal parts, our unit is one, six. Very good. Our unit is one, six. All right, does that make sense? Raise your hand if this sounds slightly familiar from last year. All right. So now let's count boys and girls. And I want to see everybody pointing one-on-one -on -one correspondence. Get your finger ready or your pencil and let's count. One, six, one, six, six two, six, six, three, six, 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 four, six, five, six, six, six. So I want everybody to do yours. I know you're watching me, but I want you to do it on yours as well. So let's do it again and you're doing it on your strip. One more time, boys and girls. One, six, two, six, three, six, four, six, five, six, six, six. So when we have six equal parts, each one is going to be called one, six. Okay? Now, notice all your, all your parts, all your partitions on your strip are all equal, aren't they? Look at what a nice job Ms. Zimmer did on hers. They're all the same size, aren't they? If you don't have equal parts, guess what? You don't have fractions. Okay? Yes. Yes, we, you can do it with circles too, you can do it with squares, you can do it with a lot of different shapes. If you think about a pizza, a pizza at the shop you get your pizza from is precise, you can cut a pizza into equal parts, okay? All right, very good. All right, now boys and girls, we've identified how to make halves and fourths and thirds and sixths. I have a worksheet for you. And this, boys and girls, so friends at home, you will have this two-page worksheet with you as well. Okay, so put your strips on the corner of your desk. Go ahead and put your name on this, boys and girls, who are here in school. That's how many you should have. It's just two. So I don't know why you go for it. All right, I like the way Ori's got her name on her paper.
So all we're doing today is counting to identify unit fractions. Now these are no more concrete models that are pictured, but these were definitely our concrete models. Why? Because we could pick them up and we could fold them and we could um, move them around. All right? says, Juanita cut her string cheese into equal pieces. Let's underline equal pieces. Really important. Underline equal pieces. As shown in the rectangles below. In the blanks below, name the fraction of the string cheese represented by the shaded part. So we can't identify the fraction until we know how many equal parts there are. So let's count, boys and girls, how many equal parts are there? One, two, three. So let's write that right underneath here. We've got three equal parts. If we have three equal parts, what is this first one called? It is called one third. Very good. It is called one third. You can write it above it. I know yours is really dark. So if you want to write it above it, you can. One third. And now on the line, we have to name the fraction of the string cheese represented by the shaded part. So what fraction is the shaded part? It is one third. Okay, go ahead and count the number of equal parts in your next script and write it underneath. Yeah, your string cheese. Making me hungry. one will be one six. I'm going to go ahead and label the shaded one one six. Remember, if you don't have room, write it above. You don't want to write it going all the way across the strip. It just represents the shaded part. This would also be one six, one six, one six, one six, one six. Each one is a unit. It is called one six. What will we write on the line? The fraction we identified with the shaded part was one six. So it is important, boys and girls, some of you might know a shortcut to write fractions, but right now, this is like unit form with multiplication. Remember how we would say three times four is three fours? This is unit form for fractions. You need to write that word out. All right, how many equal parts in the next one, Eli? Um, there is four. Okay, we have four equal parts. If we have four equal parts, what will one part be called, Eli? Do you remember? One fourth. Very good, one fourth. So friends at home, you can use a different colored marker or something to label that part. Those of us in school, it's kind of hard for us to see our pencils. All right, so the shaded part represents one. We're counting one. It's called a unit fraction, so we're just calling one. Our unit here is thirds. Our unit here is sixths. Our unit here is fourths. All right, let's look at the next one. We're going to draw our own fraction strip. So in this next um, question, you will be estimating and drawing. So this is really important. In the space below, draw a rectangle. Now I'm going to suggest you draw it the same way I do. So you ready? 
I'm going to start right here under draw and I'm going to go all the way over here. So I'm kind of using this because I want to make sure that I draw the same size every time. So I'm using this for the beginning of my rectangle and that for the end of my rectangle. Now it says estimate to split it into two equal parts. So I'm not using a ruler. I just, this is where you have to try to be precise. If I split it here, have I done it in two equal parts? No. So you can draw and then kind of look back. If it doesn't look right, erase it. So I'm going to stand back and I'm going to say, you know what? Divide that right there. How does that look? Does that look like two equal parts? Do the best you can. Now it says, how many lines did you draw to make two equal parts? How many lines did we have to draw to make two equal parts? All right. We just drew one line. Let's go ahead and write it. One line. So now whenever you have to make two equal parts, you know you only have to draw one line. What is the name of each fractional unit? Well, if I have two equal parts, my unit is halves. So I'm going to write right in here one half. And this part will also be one half. What is the name of each unit? One half. Don't forget to write your answer. How many lines did you draw? You drew one line. you would like fractions. Everybody caught up? Oh, very good. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next one. 2B on the next page. Okay, draw another rectangle, estimate to split it into three equal parts, how many lines did you draw? So again, I'm going to use this, I'm going to start at the beginning of my question and go to here, draw my rectangle, so we get your rectangle drawn, and I need three equal parts. So I'm going to eyeball it to make three equal parts, and I'm going to say here and here. Did I make three equal parts? No. No, I didn't. So I'm going to do that again. You can erase. You look back. Mrs. Reed had a small one here and a small one here, and a big one in the middle. So I'm going to try to move them both over a little bit. Does that look better? Uh-huh. Yours looks good. Show yours to your neighbor. You got four equal parts. Very nice. Let your neighbors see them. Let your neighbor tell you that they think they did a nice job. You did a nice job drawing your three equal parts. Holy moly. Let's come back up here. How many lines? Did we draw to make two equal parts, or three equal parts? Okay, we drew two lines, one, two. So that's right, how many lines did we draw? Two lines. What is the name of each fractional unit? Well, let's do one better, let's label each fractional unit. We have three equal parts, the unit is third. So let's go ahead and label one third, one third, one third. Each one is one third. That's kind of a hard word to spell, and I'm going to get out my fraction card, which will help you, but I did write it on the board. Notice we have equal parts. Let's go to see. We're going to draw one more rectangle. Again, I'm going to try to draw it the same size, so I'm going to use my question here. Go from the beginning to the end of the question. Now, I'm going to show you. 
the best way to make four equal parts because we have to split it in four equal parts. Are you ready? Eyes up here? It's kind of what we did on our strip. Gabe, Kitty, and eyes up here. You don't need your scissors right now. First of all, I'm going to split it in half. So go ahead and split it in half. How many equal parts do I have right now? One half. You have two. How many equal parts do I have? Two equal parts. Please answer the complete sentence. I have two equal parts. Very good. And you know what? When I stepped away from mine, I thought one side looked a little bigger, so I'm going to erase this and move it just a tad. Okay. I have two equal parts, but it said four equal parts, so I'm giving you a shortcut. Look what I'm going to do next. I'm going to divide this half into, and I'm going to divide this half into. And when you divide your halves in two, if you do a nice job, you should end up with four equal parts. How many lines did we draw to make four equal parts? We drew three lines. Three lines gave us four equal parts. What is our unit when we have four equal parts? Our unit is fourths. So we will label each one of these. One fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one. Let's look at those three questions. Go back to the one where you made two equal parts. How many lines did you have to draw? One. one. When you had to have three equal parts, how many lines did you draw? Two. Two. When you needed four equal parts, how many lines did you draw? Three. 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 So, what can you talk with your neighbor? If you need to make five equal parts, how many lines will you draw? Um, a partner, talk to B partner. If you need five equal parts, how many lines do you draw? Five. No, he's five equal parts. No, A, B. You guys are all. Go ahead. Five equal parts. How many lines do you draw? Five equal parts. Okay, let's come back together so our friends at home can hear us. If we need five equal parts, we will draw four lines. And I'll just prove to you, friends at home, you don't have to do this, but I need five equal parts. I'm going to draw four lines. One, two, three, four. Four lines. How many parts do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Each one will be called one fifth. We will eventually learn all the units we're going to be working with, but if you have five equal parts that are called one fifth, you draw four lines. So if you need a strip and you need eight parts, how many lines will you draw? You need eight parts, how many lines will you draw? B partners, talk to A partners. I want eight parts, how many lines? Eight parts, seven. Is that what you're gonna say? All right, let's come back together. Raga, will you share with us? If you want eight equal parts, how many lines? Seven. You would draw seven lines. Very good, boys and girls. You may put those in your green folder. So friends at home, you will complete the template. There will be four pages for you to do. Hopefully it will be self-explanatory when you do that. Thank you so much.